Okay, next, uh, looking at the pseudocode, sequence, selection, iteration. Uh, we've just talked about sequence, that's getting our steps um, to solve our problem and putting them in the correct order. Now we might need our program to make a decision or a choice. So for that we use selection. And selection is a way or something that allows a program, algorithm, problem, whatever, however you want to define what you're doing to make a decision or choice. Okay? Now there are two methods that we've looked at. The first one is if then else. Okay, so that's the first one that we've looked at. So we want to make a choice. Um, so in my example, we're entering a number, and if the number is less than zero, then we want to tell the user that it's too small. So we would have if, then we'll do our test. So in this situation, A is less than zero. Then, okay, so underneath here, we're going to put our, our, our then condition. So if this is true, then we want this to happen. So we're going to output a message. A is too small. We could say um, the number you've entered is less than zero. Please re-enter. Um, it doesn't really matter. But the, the point is, we've got if this happens, then do this. I could underneath here put um, input a make them re-enter it. Okay, but I'll keep it. I'm going to keep it fairly straightforward. So we could have, you know, some more statements there. Um, so if we want to say what happens if the condition is not met, we can put an else. Now you don't necessarily have to have this else here. Um, you could just leave it like that. And if that condition wasn't met, your program would just carry on. But I'm going to put here else output so if the, if the number wasn't less than zero it must have been greater than zero so you entered a positive number okay um, finally we will stop that little routine there with an end if Okay, so we're looking for if, then, do something. So if this condition is true, then do something. Else, do this. And then, okay, we're done with our uh, little um, selection statement, if statement here, end if. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, if you want to stop the video, go back to the start, and have a little go at writing an if statement, try thinking of... Um, one of your own. Um, you may have uh, an exam question that you can look back at as well. Okay, but what we'll do now is have a little look at the next method, <coughs> excuse me, and that's the case statement. Um, if statements are very, very simple to program, um, the problem you have is if you have lots of decisions to make about one thing, they can be quite inefficient take up a lot of processing time okay so we'll, I'll do an example of where you're choosing a pizza topping so when you're choosing a pizza topping there are lots of toppings to pick from so we would have to have if we were using if statements if topping equals mushrooms then it'll cost this much if topping equals peppers it'll cost this much if topping equals chili it'll cost this much if topping equals and so on and so forth that's quite a lot of processing power um, slows our code down so we want a different method so the second method of selection will be case okay so um, we'll have a little bit of code here so we'll output a message enter topping and then we will input so don't forget um, I've mentioned this before if you have to input something well you need to put a message on the screen so the user knows what they're doing and obviously if you're putting a message on the screen for somebody to 
input something or enter something, make sure you input it. Okay, so back to what we're doing. So this time we use the case statement. Okay, case of topping. So it's going to look at what's being typed in here. And now we can set up our different cases. So mushrooms. And so if this if this case has been met, this is what we want to happen. Um, you could output a message, mushrooms aren't very nice, or words to that effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a cost here. So it'll cost this much extra. So we'll set that to one. And that could be pounds. And then you can just carry on repeating this. So it's it's a bit more efficient in terms of processing time if we're doing lots of things than the if statement. But the if statement is nicer within the code. Okay, so peppers will have a cost of 0.5 and then we'll also do chili. Okay, my favorite and we'll make that 0.2. Okay, so we can do loads and loads of those. What we'll do then is we'll have Otherwise, so if none of these conditions are met, we'll output a message, no such topping. And then finally, as we've done with the if, we're going to end the case, okay? So we're talking about selection, the ability to allow our programs to make a choice or a decision. So you could be asked to, um, you could be given an example of selection and said, well, what's the other example? Um, so if, then, else is our first type of selection statement. Case is our second type of selection statement. What we would do is we would use the if statement if we were just looking at one thing. If we were looking at multiple possible choices, we would use the case statement purely because it's more efficient in terms of programming. Thank you very much.